There are basically two types of rigid bodies you can have, uh, active rigid bodies and passive rigid bodies. Um, the passive rigid bodies basically don't react to forces and uh, collisions, but they are involved in the simulation. So they're, you can treat them mainly as things that you animate in the scene, and they, they can be used to drive uh, the simulation of other active objects. And um, as you might have guessed, active objects basically react to collisions and forces. So they're more like the moving parts of your simulation. And it's really easy to uh, change one to the other. So uh, don't worry too much about um, you know whether you set it properly or not at the beginning. It's simply a switch on the actual object. Uh, so in our scenario, we want to make the catapult arm and the weight active rigid body since they'll be reacting to gravity and moving around and all that. So we just select them, make them an active rigid body. And uh, for the hinge, we're going to make that a passive rigid body. Since it's just going to be locked there and we don't want it reacting to gravity, uh, it'll basically be just be the pivot point for the uh, catapult. So we'll just go rigid body, passive rigid body. There we go. Let's go to our environment filter just so we can see. We've added these objects into the simulation. Now if we apply force like gravity into the scene, it gets added to our uh, gravity connection group there. And we play back. You can see the active rigid bodies are reacting to the force and the passive is not. So um, what we want to do is start constraining things now so we get the proper behavior.